Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy of the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to find the length of a parallelogram. So here we have some parallelogram where we know this side is of length A, where A is any number, this side is of length B, and we know an angle theta. What we want to find is this length here. In the bottom left corner, all the way out to here. So how are we going to do this? Well, it's helpful to drop down a height from right here, such that this forms a right angle with the top. And we can think of this sliver right here as being a right triangle. And if we can determine the length of this segment here, which we'll call L, then we can simply add L to B, and we're good to go. Let's recall that B is the base of the parallelogram itself, not of the entire area that we're looking for. So here we have our right triangle. Since this is a parallelogram, we know that this side and this side are of the same length. So the hypotenuse of our triangle is of length A. And we also know that this interior angle will be the same as this interior angle, theta. And we're trying to find L. But here we can use some simple trigonometry to determine the answer. When we recall that the cosine of theta is equal to the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. But here, the hypotenuse is A, which is a quantity that we already know, and the adjacent leg is L, which we're trying to figure out. Well, from here, we can simply multiply both sides by A, and we'll have our answer. A times cosine of theta equals L. Okay, so we know that this chunk right here can be written as A cosine theta. Well then the length of the entire parallelogram can simply be written as B plus the cosine of theta times A. And there we have it. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find the length of a parallelogram.